A guide dog is a highly trained dog that acts as a helping hand to blind and visually impaired. A guide dog can provide mobility, freedom, and independence to people with disabilities, as well as being a faithful and loving companion. There are many people that guide dogs help. They don't only help the blind or visually impaired, but they also help people with disabilities. There are different types of dogs. For example, some are assistant dogs, guide dogs, companion dogs, hearing dogs, and therapy dogs. Before the dogs can help people with disabilities, they need to learn to deal with the world and whatever it might present to them. For example, loud noises, smelly buses, crowds of people. Another important task they have to be able to do is retrieve dropped keys. They must learn intelligent disobedience. They must know when to disobey. This can also enable a guide dog to save its owner's life. For example, if the blind person tells the dog to go forward when a car is running a red light, the dog must refuse to obey. The first guide dog training schools were established in Germany during World War I. This was to enhance the mobility of returning veterans who were blinded in combat. In 1929, the Seeing Eye Dog was located in Nashville, Tennessee, and then relocated in 1931 to Morristown, New Jersey. Morris Frank founded the Seeing Eye Dog. He was one of the first America's guide dog owner. Frank then was trained with another guide dog named Buddy. He was a German Shepherd in Switzerland in 1928. In 1934, the Guide Dogs for the Blind Association in Great Britain was started. Their mission is to provide guide dogs. Earlier on, trainers began to figure out what type of dog breeds were right for the job. The most popular dogs for the job are Golden Retrievers, Labradors, and German Shepherds. This doesn't mean that littler puppies like Poodles, Collies, and Boxers are not. Each puppy lives with a special person called a foster puppy raiser. The puppy then becomes part of the family. It gets plenty of love, attention, and praise as the puppy raiser is introduced to the world. When they are about eight weeks old, they get to meet their puppy raisers. The puppy raisers then meet in a group to learn how to teach the young dogs what they need to know. Then they go to the bus station. The puppies have to practice getting on and off the bus. They also learn how to stay calm when the bus starts and stops. At the end of the day, the bus ride seems like a natural trip in a car. Golden Retrievers and Labradors are intelligent, have a good work ethic, and they are at a young age when they mature. Labradors and Poodles breed to provide dogs with less amounts of shedding for people with allergies to dog hair. These dogs are also common. <coughs> Rules deny access to animals in restaurants and other public places. In many countries, guide dogs are an other type of assistance that is protected by law. That means many accompany their handlers most places and are open to the public. Laws and regulations differ worldwide. For example, in the United States, the Americans with Disabilities Act prohibits any business, government agency, or any other organization that provides access to the general pub public from banning guide dogs. The Fair Housing Act requires that landlords are allowing tenants to have guide dogs in residents that norm normally have a no pet policy. There are no extra fees that may be charged for such occupants. The type of government determines whether guide dogs in training have the same rights or not. <laughs> 
The Muslim religion believes dogs are unclean. Many taxi drivers and store owners have refused to accommodate customers who have guide dogs. Many Muslims continue to refuse access and see the pressure to allow the dogs as a restraint upon religious liberty. Some of the guide dog schools are lead, leader dogs for the blind, guiding eyes for the blind, the seeing eye, guide dogs for the blind, and list of guide dog schools. In the United States, only two out of every 100 blind people use guide dogs. Miniature horses are now being trained as guide animals. They are about the same size as guide dogs, but they live much longer. Some can work for 25 years. About 10 million people in the United States are blind or have trouble seeing. About one half the dogs at guide dog schools do not finish their training. Some have health problems and others are too easily scared or bark at other dogs. There are two options for a blind person who wants to travel on their own. One option is that they can use a long white cane or they can choose to use a guide dog. The advantages for a cane is that the person can detect steps, poles, and other obstacles. Advantages for using a guide dog are that the dog will indicate obstacles or simply skirt around them without breaking their pace. The dog must provide enough clearance so that the blind person can pass the obstacles without grazing it. Dog guides must also learn to watch out for low hanging branches or awnings at human head or shoulder height.